somebody called in uh, about this or i am yesterday about a bill that is um being debated in indiana um and i mean think about the ink and the oxygen expended on the idea that there were college students college students not lawmakers not college administrators as if like you know college controls anything in you know but l lawmakers think about all of the ink and the uh, the oxygen that was expended on talking about speech codes and people are being too politically correct or they're being too woke or they're being whatever it is and how how that endangers um freedom and it's all authoritarian and then compare that to the ink and the oxygen it being expended upon this uh debate in indiana stand up and say who we voted for or anything like that but we're not neutral on, on nazism we take a stand in the classroom against it and it matters that we do uh, I'm not discrediting as a person uh, Marxism, Nazism, fascism. I'm not discrediting any of those isms out there. Uh, and I have no problem with uh, the education system providing instruction on the existence of those isms. I believe that we've gone too far when we take a position on those isms as it relates to we need to be impartial. Again, I'm going to use this term. We need to be the purveyors of reason. We just provide the facts. The kids formulate their own viewpoints. So in other words, you know, no editorial on, let's say, fascism. Uh, no editorial on fascism or Nazism or... Or Marxism. I well, mean, that's the that's, thing. they put that together, right? That's the problem that I have is like, this is, um, if you guys are going to do this socialism, Marxism stuff, we get to do fascism. That's what is underlying all this stuff here. Like that's, I mean, that's, and that's ultimately where fascism came from in like the Hitler version, right? Like, um, like we're, we're a part of the, um, pitch was, uh, we're the only ones that can stand up for you capitalists, uh, that Hitler gave to German businesses. And like, I think that's, that's why we're seeing a lot of this Nazi stuff now. And not just yeah, German business, socialism. Not just German businesses. Not just German businesses too. Like I mean, Hitler did have relationships with some like U.S. capitalists as well because there was a f great fear. Oh, yeah, the Koch brother, the Koch family, uh, built the oil industries for both Stalin and Hitler. So I mean, that's a little bit. What but a legacy! That's, that's impartiality there. Yeah. And just be clear, this uh, Indiana um, piece of legislation would ban so-called divisive concepts from school curriculum. So this guy who's actually the, the guy we heard from the lawmaker was like sort of on the progressive edge of the support <laughs> of that bill like well it's okay to discuss them but it should just be like let the student like you don't necessarily need to talk about the bad parts of the fascism or the Nazism you bring up uh, racism you got to also talk in the same way or anti-racism you got to talk in the same way about slavery maybe slavery wasn't bad it should just be neutral owning people the same as not owning people they just want the kids to be like squishy uneducated blobs that absorb our society's pre-existing conditions and just think of them as right and good and natural i i, I think it's actually worse than that Frankly, I think it's that what, what Matt's saying. They want to be able to promote some form of fascism. They don't necessarily perceive it that way, or maybe they do. But this is and this is the 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 sort of the the way that they sort of uh, you know this is the stowaway essentially. I mean, uh, McCarthyism, the House on American Activities Committee said at the start, yeah, we're going to look into fascism and communism, both of them. And which one did they really look into? Right. right.